Sure, I'm Eleftherios Pitas. I'm a director with Tishman Spires Design and Construction Department in New York. I'm working on a commercial office building in the Hudson Yards area called The Spiral. The Spiral is a 2.8 million square foot commercial office building. Its 65th floor is a top occupiable floor. It takes up an entire city block. One of the defining features why we call it the spiral is the spiraling terraces. The shape of the spiral is an extension of the New York City High Line Park. So the High Line is an elevated park. It used to be a basically a, a train uh, line running along the city. And when they were no longer using them, they decided to turn it into a park. We uh, see it as an extension of the High Line. We actually tried to pay homage to the same design elements that they have on the High Line. Some of the the precast pavers, the plantings uh, are similar at the spiral as well. Uh, and each of these terraces from 7 Up will have uh, greenery, landscaping, uh, seating areas. So each of the office tenants will have the ability to, to sort of enjoy an outdoor space from a unique view in New York City. Patrick Shields, uh, project exec on 66 Hudson Boulevard, the spiral in New York City. Uh, we've pretty much been working steadily uh, through the whole pandemic year. I do see a lot of technology over the years, you know, sort of seem a little flashy and may not have a long shelf life. Uh, I was skeptical on open space. I also look at various technologies and, and to see what can, you know, what can we do better in the construction industry. When I got a demo, I was immediately wowed by it. And then I sort of had to go to my, my boss, almost like a, a kid asking for an allowance saying, hey, can we, can we do this on our project? Can we try this? I'm telling you, it's worth it. And, and he was a bit of a skeptic, but he trusted my judgment and then definitely saw, you know, saw some value into it. Not that it wasn't an interesting uh, product, but I just didn't see how it's going to really have value add to what we do. It'd be cool, but I didn't see the value add. Uh, and then at some point, uh, he showed me where it connected with the BIM model that we heavily invested in this project. Uh, and that was really my aha moment. He said, I'm bought into it now. I believe in it just, just the way you do. We did have open space uh, shots of mechanical floors, the, our heavy mechanical floors in the building. And that ended up uh, being valuable to the consultant team because they could uh, look and inspect as work was happening even though uh, many of the consultant team members weren't able to get uh, to the project uh, during that time. I, I can't tell you how many times uh, I've been asked for a photo. You know, oh, didn't we take a photo of here? And I'm, I'm unofficially also the IT guy and the document control guy. So if a photo ever existed, it's somewhere in my inbox and I'm, I'm responsible for finding it. So uh, I can't tell you how many times I have found it, but it wasn't a pleasant experience. And or if we had the photo, it, it's uh, there wasn't much there, right? It's tough to see. It's not the right angle. If only we could have been five feet to the left. So if, if you said like a, a picture, a 2D picture is worth a thousand words, I would have said an, a 360 picture is worth a million words and an open space capture where you can get, you know, a 360 photo every half a section is, is, you know, priceless. Like it's a billion words, you know, it's just unbelievable the additional context you can capture with open space. Thinking about even from the operations point of view, after we build, uh, we hand off the buildings to Tishman Spire Operations. You have piping and buried components in the wall to be able to have uh, Superman eyes to look through the wall and, and maybe get yourself closer to where there could be a problem. Uh, fitting or juncture uh, is certainly valuable when you're trying to open up finished spaces. We are really thoughtful on how we take our, uh, our open space data, open ceilings, open walls, uh, items that get buried in slabs. You could go up and find that valve that you know is gonna be there by using this virtual tool. To give that to a building, you know, two or three, four years down the line, is to me invaluable. If anything, it just gave me a ton of data that I'll have for the rest of this building's life that I could share with, you know, our property managers, our operations, with prospective future tenants, with with whoever you know, whoever wants the data. It makes it accessible to some less technical people. It's great that you can see it from iPad or computer. You can see what what should be there versus what's currently there today. But we're able to forward clips. Uh, to prospective tenants or tenants that came by and took maybe six photos on a floor, suddenly we could give them a, a, a much uh, more robust 
takeaway uh, of spaces they've seen. We can tell them, hey, this is what your floor looks like today, even though you're not going to come build out for six months, let's say. Uh, we're also to be able to use it as sort of a turnover handover document. You know, we may capture uh, the entire floor, you know, very detailed, walk it slowly and, and, and go into each room to say, hey, here's what it looked like on this day when we turned it over to you so that we're, we're all in agreement and, and it's, a, it's a pleasant turnover to that tenant. Part of uh, the hesitancy in using new technology is, well, we didn't have open space before and we built tons of buildings. I mean, and not just we, like, you know, the world has built tons of buildings. Empire State Building was built in a year. Probably wasn't the safest project you know, in the world. But so part of the whole value of technology is it lets you build better. And, and what do I think that means sometimes? It means if I save certain people's time um, by letting them and letting them focus on critical tasks, on tasks that if they don't happen, could slow the job down, could cost us more money, could, you know, could someone get hurt? Like that's where I see value. So once you once you show people you're going to save time, you're going to save resources uh, by transmitting. I, I go back. Open space is a wealth of data by being by having a wealth of data at your fingertips, um, easily accessible. I just think it, it makes believers out of people. You know, you just got to you got to show them that that little piece of here's how it will make your job easier and you can go back to building instead of being a photographer. I look forward for this project to be complete. It's it's a it's again a significant project on the New York City skyline. It, it'll be bittersweet, but it'll it'll be like a unique building on the, the uh, skyline that I could see when you know when if I drive, you know, over to Jersey or or it'll be really cool to see and I'd love to eventually even just bring my my kids out there and see it sometime. There's a lot of passion and, and personal effort that go in from the management team, the trades, everyone involved. And I think that's, we're lucky that we can always look, you know, years from now with our families on the skyline and say, hey, I was involved with that.